TDI and Audi are two things that go very much hand in hand. Before the introduction of the TDI in 1989, diesel engines were certainly a niche product. If the image of the diesel engine was lacking in anything at the time, then it was sportiness. Its efficiency, consumption and good performance had already made the diesel engine popular with customers back then. Und wo ist das Licht? Links am Lenkrad, der kleine Hebel. Und der Tank? Bis zu 1300 Kilometer ohne zu tanken. Der Audi A6 TDI. Above all, we were able to give the TDI more and more emotion. It went from being a utilitarian engine in an unemotional, slow vehicle to being part of a performance car. I saw it as a good match. To develop a diesel engine that had a certain performance potential that could be used in motorsports. I was allowed to drive an R10 TDI for the first time back then, and I was surprised because there was virtually no sound but enormous torque. It was amazing. We helped the diesel engine break through in motorsports. I'll never forget Alan McNeish and his first time in the car in Sebring. After three or four laps, he came to the box, got out, and came to me with an outstretched hand. He said, thank you. And I said, what for? For the power. It's a great advantage to be as fast as the fastest cars, but to last twice the distance. I think the diesel engine is the most efficient and future-proof power plant at our disposal, and it will give us mobility solutions in the years to come.